In this video, I want to go over how you can rip or copy DVD movies to your Plex server using uh, special software. Uh, but first, I wanted to go over just in case uh, you're new to Plex. This is my Plex server, and it's on my computer. I don't have the paid version. Uh, this seems to work uh, pretty good. I have uh, a lot of family videos, uh, my grandkids and family reunions and so forth. Uh, some movies that I added to the, uh, to the server. So, uh, works fine without paying any money for it. And the way you can do this, first uh, what I did is I created my library. So here, I click on libraries. Okay. So you can add a library. And then you can categorize it as movies, TV shows, music, photos, other videos, and so forth. And then you just name it, and it it'll show over here on the on the left side of the uh, of the screen. And then simply you add folders to it. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. So let me go to my computer. So on my hard drive now, this this uh, storage drive that I have here is the one that I uh, added to my computer after removing my DVD drive. Okay, uh, in the last video I showed how to uh, add a uh, DVD drive externally. Okay, so this is the one that I have showing there is the one that I uh, uh, removed. Right now I'm going to be using it as an external drive with the adapter that I uh, showed in the last video. But anyway, if I click on my storage drive here, Okay, here's what I have in this folder right here. I simply have the DVD movies I've added. And then my Plex server, or I make them available to the Plex server. Okay, but these are the movies that I have. And then I have this folder right here. Uh, i got family photos, uh, family photos B, and so forth. Uh, uh, songs, i got photos of my dogs, and so forth. And then these are uploaded to the appropriate libraries that I created in the uh, in the Plex server. Okay, so anytime you add, so when I do a video, a home video, I simply just drop it in the appropriate uh, folder. And then if I go ahead and watch my Plex server, say from the uh, living room or the bedroom, uh, I won't be able to see it unless I refresh it. Okay, so say let's say I added uh, uh, some family video. Okay, then I would have to come over here and I would just say refresh all metadata. And then this will be kind of flickering around and then you'll be able to see it. Okay, so anything you add to the folders in your computer in order to view it on your Plex server from say any place in your house, uh, you need to refresh it. That way you don't have to upload it to the to Plex. Okay, so as an example here, I've been adding, I, I really love the Columbo uh, movies. So I have a lot of Columbo movies along with some other stuff, uh, some Spurs and so on. Uh, but this is software that, I, that I'm using right now. Uh, I'm going to click on this and I'll run it as administrator. Okay. So at this point, I want to import the DVD movie so I can rip it or copy it to my Plex server. So I click on this and it comes over here. If it doesn't go, go directly to this, go ahead and go to your uh, My PC and click on the uh, DVD drive that you have there. Okay. And then here, uh, I already have a Columbo movie on the, uh, on the DVD drive. So I'm going to click on select folder. Okay. Now at this point here, if you just want to copy this, click on Columbo, and this is going to copy everything. The whole film along with a lot of these little ones that uh, you can see which one is the movie. Uh, 1 hour 34 minutes, 25 seconds. So this one actually has two DVD movies in it for Columbo. And then these other ones that are not that long, 5 minutes, 36 seconds, 345, 1 minute here, 24 seconds. These are basically ads. So if you just click on Columbo and then again select your format, in this case I have it set to HEVC 
MP4. So this is something that's compatible with the with the Plex. Uh, and there's other things you can select here. But you want to make sure you pick something that's compatible with, with Plex and uh, MP4, HEVC, MP4, along with MKV are compatible. Uh, at this point, I've, I've basically been using this format here. Okay, because I, I know that uh, it's compatible with the Plex server that I have. And then where do you want to put it? Okay, well, I have, I selected, click on this uh, little icon folder here and find the folder you want. So this is a DVD movie, so that's the folder I picked. If you don't pick anything, the uh, software ha the software has its own folder. Okay, so then you'd have to go to it and then copy it to the folder you want. But it's easier if you just go ahead and select the folder you want to put it in. So I have it in DVD movies. Okay. Now again, uh, this has two movies. So if you, if you just leave it like this, or maybe you don't want the ads, takes these off. Okay. It'll, it'll copy the, uh, the movies back to back. So when you watch it, you know, it, it, one will play and then the, the next one will be there. Uh, and then if you, sometimes you forget because there's just two movies there. So you can go, go back and rename it because otherwise it's just going to give you this title that, that's there. Okay. Uh, now these take pretty, pretty long. So if, so if you only copy in one movie, uh, it's going to take uh, probably an hour or more than what the length of the movie is. So if this is 134, uh, count on a, a close to three hours or more for this to be done. If you do both of these, it could be closer to uh, six hours. Okay. But again, it's something you can just start copying it or ripping it and then go do your thing. You know, and after several hours and stuff, uh, do your shopping, go to work, whatever, uh, it'll be done. Okay. Now, just to shorten the video here, uh, just to give you an example how this works, I, I, I don't want to copy the whole thing because then I have to wait for about five hours or so, depending. So I'm just going to copy one of these ads here. Okay. Now over here, you can, you can preview what it is. Okay. So, uh, let's, let's click on, uh, there, this one here. Double click on it. Now on DVD, The Office, I think. So let's suppose um, I'm just going to do this one. So I'm going to click on this like this. Okay. So it's only got to copy this little section. Just to give you an example. And it'll copy it in this format. HEVC MP4 and it'll be compatible. Be compatible with the uh, Plex server that I have. And again, like I said, I, ha I have the free version. So again, the, my, my Plex server is on my computer. You can you can pay for it. I think right now they're offering you a lifetime uh, membership to it, and you know you can you can put it in the cloud and access it whenever you wherever you're at. Uh, right now, of course, it's since it's on my computer, I have to have the computer on if I want to watch. Okay, and it's usually on most of the day, you know, um, except when I go to bed. Okay, so no, everything is set here. HEVC MP4, and then I click on convert. Okay. And it should copy it, like I said, to the uh, DVD folder. And you can see it gives you the elapsed uh, time here. Again, you can ha you have these options here. You want to click on eject after conversion shut down computer after conversion so like i said you can do this when you're going to bed and uh, uh it'll shut down the computer so you can have you have those options right there whatever you want to do okay so it's giving you the time that's uh passed elapsed and the time remaining so this was at least two hours and two minutes but it's not going to go that long for this one once uh it recognizes what it is so it should go pretty fast here and Okay, so it's uh, finished, and you can see that it put the software right here. Okay. Notice Colombo title 0301. Now, on, on some of these, once you load them to your uh, appropriate folder, and then you go to your Plex server, the titles might stay the way they are. Okay, so on some of these, I, I manually entered the titles because I wanted to make sure what movie I was watching. I couldn't really tell. Okay, so a lot of these, I went ahead and just uh, right-clicked, and then I renamed it from the title that it had. Now, some of these, if they're ads, uh, you can retitle it, but your title might not appear in the Plex. So I'm going to leave it the way it is for right now. 
okay and I'm gonna close this out again this is ease fab DVD ripper compatible with uh, the Plex uh, server and there are free versions of some of these uh, types of software uh, this one I believe it paid around uh, $24 so wasn't that much okay so now I'm gonna come over here and I've already logged into my uh, Plex server okay so these are the movies that I have and the one I just uploaded I, I, let's assume that was a movie it's not there because I, again I, ha I have to refresh it so I come over here to DVDs and right here where you see the three dots click on that and then it says refresh all metadata so click on that this is forces to download a fresh media information from the internet okay so uh, the file that I just added I just click on refresh and you can see it's spinning around over here Notice here it has Columbo title 03. Let's click on that. Now on DVD, okay. The Office, I think that pretty much sums it up on the Smart Funny series. That's a hit with fans and critics alike. Okay, so that's that's the one. That's the one that uh, we loaded. And it just has Columbo and it has the same uh, numbering there. Uh, let me see if I can change the title on it. Like I said, on, on the movie, sometimes the title over your shows. And some of these uh, ads, they might not. Okay, so let me just click on this one. Uh, let's click on rename. And I'll just call it The Office. Okay. But then again, because I made a change, notice it hasn't, nothing's changed there. It's still Columbo title 03 and so on. So again, I have to go to refresh. And this, uh, this happens again, again, if I, if I do some, uh, take some video of my grandkids and then load it to the folder in order to see it on my Plex server, say from the bedroom or the living room, I have to refresh it. So it picks up the, uh, the data. So refresh all media. Refresh. And you can see over here, it's still spinning right here. So it's still, it's still reloading, updating over here on the upper right corner also. Okay, so notice here, I named it the office and it gives you a little bit more data. Now it gives you some photos and so forth. So this one, did, it did work. And sometimes it, it, it has its own name when it appears. Let me see if I click on this. Now on DVD, the office, I think okay. that pretty much sums it up. So again, if, if uh, you don't see what uh, you copy to the uh, folder here, again, look at the name closely. So this guy named it the office and it appeared there and it even gave me a date, 1987. Okay. So anyway, that, that's the way this works. Uh, over here, like I said, I have uh, some of the other uh, libraries that I have for family photos, family videos, uh, and so forth. Okay. So I'm still working on the uh, on the DVDs. Most of these are Columbo. I'll be adding some others. Uh, hope this helps you out. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.